Hey guys, I'm Fallout Girl. Today, I'm going to try out the new L'Oreal Colorista hair color. And I'll try this aqua color right here, along with the bleach. And I've never used these. My first impression review of these products right here. So let's get into the video. Okay, so right here I have the bleaching kit to start out with. That's how you're going to make your hair lighter. I'm going to open this up and this is for all over hair color. They do have two other ones I believe for I think highlights and an ombre. I'm not really sure but I found this one at Ulta. So Ulta is a good place to get this. It might cost a little more but you'll be able to find what you need there and I will try to link both of these um, in the description below it tells you to try a color so this is the bleach developer cream um, this is what the powder looks like and instructions and I think the gloves come inside of here you get anti brass conditioner they're all in numbers it tells you step by step what to do which is really nice I like that hopefully that will make it easier I've never used this stuff but I'm super excited to try something new that's why I was like well I should make this video because I've never used this so it's going to be a real huge first impression for me. I'm super stoked. <laughs> you get a little cap. I'm not sure what it's for. But I'm going to keep that on the side. I'm not really sure. And I'm going to open this later, obviously. So you get your instructions right here. If, you, if it doesn't rip. Okay, so you get black gloves. So... I guess that's good because then you can see what you're doing more easily. So now that everything is out of the box and pretty much sat up, I'm going to change into a shirt that I don't really care about and I'll be right back. I'm in my shirt. I've changed. So let's get into putting all of this product together and turning this, all this craziness, to blonde. Or at least close enough to blonde as we can get it, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so you take this top and you just twist it. Like so, you just twist it off, put it in the garbage. Then, let me see. Um, yeah. Okay, so you take this powder you shake it up make sure it gets all the way down in the bottom here you have to cut it off scissors so you're gonna unscrew the bottle number one sit it down make sure all this stuff is loosened and at the bottom can you see me okay so you're going to twist the top off of the bottle, put it on the table, shake this stuff, the powder, number two, down, and then cut the top off, like so. Then you're going to sprinkle it into the bottle. Make sure you put on your gloves first. <laughs> put on your gloves. them on like so and your gloves kind of too big for me but that's how they usually are anywho take your chemicals here and you want to make sure the powder goes into the bottle. 
it's kind of like the idea with splat. Pour and shake. Ooh. Already got some on me. It's okay. Good thing we have gloves on. To be kind of careful with pouring because unless you have some sort of funnel or something, you have to be careful. <laughs> they give you a lot of powder. Good thing my hair is not that long. <laughs> okay. Maybe everything's out. Throw it in the garbage. Dust off your bottle over the garbage. Place it back on. Okay. And then shake. Cap on, Pierce. Wait, what the fuck? Screw the cap on to the developer. Point bottle away from. Oh, yeah, shake well. Move Pierce top of lightning cream tube. I'm guessing that's number three. Okay. This. Then you put the lightning cream in here. This one you have to puncture it. Like so. That's what it says to do. Keep having. Here's opening a crane tube, squeeze the entire developer, replace flat cap. Okay. Well, I'm trying to pierce it, but I want to act stupid. Watch me just pierce this. Okay, there we go. Then just squeeze the lightning cream into your mixture here. So be careful not to get in your eyes. I'm doing this on the table. I wish I had one of those key things where you could lock it into the tube and just twist everything out, but I don't have one of those. I need to go find one. That would be nice. And I'll replace clap cap. Move rich and creamy. Okay. Get to shake it vigorously, it says. And then you want to have it like that. Since it never stops shaking it or it may explode, but I'm shaking it. Okay. I might need Jay's help over here. Okay, so I had Jay come in here. And he cut off another p section of the tube because it wasn't coming out. So, a little bit off camera, I've been doing my hair. You want to saturate it with this bleach mixture. And you have to make sure that you shake it con like pretty often so that way the mixture doesn't settle or explode. <laughs> Which is, I guess, a thing. I didn't really know that. And I didn't get scared until the stuff wasn't coming out of the bottle. I was like, oh god. And it started feeling fat. So that's why I had Jay come in here and cut the little top off. My ear is like starting to like, get sore from the bleach. I think the bleach got my ear. So that's just a fun time. So, you want to saturate your hair. I'm trying to saturate it. Like so. Be careful not to get it anywhere that you don't want it on. It might ruin surfaces. So, just be mindful of that. Which Put my mirror where I can see my hair. There we go. I don't. Okay, there we go. 
Now you can look at my mirror over here. That's what I'm looking at. It's like more detailed because I can't see in the viewfinder or anything. So it's like kind of harder looking over there. But yeah, you want to make sure every time you put some out, you want to shake it and put it back on your table. That will help it not explode. And to keep the mixture from sticking together, it helps it stay creamy. And just put a little bit on your hand at a time. So far this is good. I like this stuff so far. It doesn't really smell bad. Like, you know, like Splat has like, you know, a bleach smell. This is actually really different. It doesn't have a real bleachy, strong smell to it, which is nice. I'm trying to get the back of my hair, but I have like little baby hairs. Really sucks. But it's okay. I kind of look like a weird Princess Leia in my mirror at that point. Like, phew. But it's okay. <laughs> okay. I can't wait to have like a new color. I've been wanting to do a new color, but then I was like, well, I kind of like the orange-reddish color of my hair. But it's time for a change. This is a new hairstyle, <laughs> right? I think I'm getting to the end. Oh, wait, I thought I was getting to the end. Or this thing is just plugged again. This thing does get plugged. Stupid. Yeah, I got plugged. Whoa. Well, then... <laughs> Um, I look like I have marshmallows in my hand, pretty much. But that's just the bleach. <laughs> okay. Well, close your eyes. That's all I'm doing. Closing my eyes. Don't want it in. Starting off with, oops, starting off with the back. Not putting all that clump right directly on my head top front of my head I'm putting it on the back of my head and then working it around so it's not so intense which is a smart thing to do if you have a clump like that make sure you put it in the back and then work your way forward that's what I've realized because you don't want it in your face I think this is the end of the stuff you get a lot but most of it don't want to come out. I'm getting the back of my head with the other clump. Working it, massaging it through right now. Okay. And another thing is, once you're done with the bottle, never put the caps back on. Always throw them away without the cap. So that way nothing pressurizes and explodes. <laughs> once again word explode yeah a little bit more massage I just threw my bottle into my garbage that I have right here and smudge the sides Getting sides right here as much as possible okay then throwing away the little top don't need that either. Okay. First, okay, so you're going to leave this in for um, um, 30 minutes. And I'm doing the all over lightning option. It's letter A right here. That's the option that I'm doing. And you leave it on for... 30 minutes, so I'll see you back here in 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Only a few minutes into the bleaching, and my hair is already this nice shade of cotton candy pink. So it's working. <laughs> well, I've been sitting here reading the instructions, and apparently I did this all mixed up. But I think it's still going to work. It says um, after 20 to 30 minutes have passed, 
you place the remainder of the bleach on the root area and saturate. Then you have to wait an additional 20 minutes and see if there's any results. So according to them, you have to check every five minutes and then total time you should not exceed 60 minutes. So I'm guessing I'm staying here for at least an hour instead of like the 30 minutes that I originally had said. But then I'll give you an update when you have to do step three. Okay, so now that my hair is complete, I'm going to go in and wash it and use this um, anti-brass conditioner. And you leave it in for five minutes and then you rinse it out once the five minutes is over. So I will be back. Okay, well I was opening this up and it smells pretty good. This is the conditioner. It smells pretty good and it's a nice pastel shade of purple. Super pretty smelling. So I guessing I'm guessing that my hair will smell actually really good. It won't smell like weird bleach smell. Okay, so I washed all the bleach out of my hair. So now it's just drying in this towel. And after it's like a little bit kind of dry, I'm going to blow dry my hair and show you the result of the bleaching that I've done. Okay, so this is the final result from the bleaching and my hair looks and feels super nice. I know that there's some red and in the light, in my mirror it looks pretty lighter than it does on here but that's okay and I don't know I'm kind of liking this hairdo let me know on snapchat my snapchat's listed in the description let me know if I should keep my hairstyle like like how I have it on there I have a full snapchat story for you to go through and you know see if I should keep this or not so I'm going to get into the color now and we're gonna see if this is gonna work well or not now we're going to get into this color and it's the matching brand colorista from l'oreal in the shade aqua 700 right here and i'll link it down below and in this product you get color tube right here gloves, instruction sheet, and the expert brush. And it shows you like the various colors on the back that you can do and what um, you should expect from your hair color, what result. I'm hoping for something like this, but you never know because I, have, I still do have the red, so we don't even know what's gonna happen. Sorry about the um, vacuum in the back. I guess it's cleaning time. I don't know. Whatever. Of course it has to be cleaning time when I'm making like a video. Um, a lot of instructions. I don't think it's that complicated. It's not rocket science. Pretty much most of the colors are the same. If you think about it. You customize your color, application, and then customize your hair. You get these huge gloves. get the huge I don't know my hands are not that big but I don't have any other you know oh they give you two sets if you, wait there's so many sets of gloves I got like literally like five um a pair and a half apparently <laughs> look at all these gloves you get like one two three four five six gloves I'm not that messy. I'm, not, I'm guessing if you really wanted to do like an ombre elaborate color, that would be very handy. Like I'm going to keep those gloves off to the side for another hair coloring project in the future. That's great. But we're just going to open up this tube here. Like so, you get this tube and it's four ounces. 
straight the color, which usually means you would have to use the whole tube, which is okay. And it comes out a really dark blue, like so. I don't know if you can see it on my gloves, but it's like a very dark blue. It does not look like the color. I'm guessing this is what you're supposed to get from this dark blue. Not sure entirely, but it's okay. I'm a little, I'm shook. You know, I'm, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the color, for, like the tube, you know. So, I'm a little scared, <laughs> to be honest. A little bit happy because, you know, maybe it'll cover the red. I don't know, maybe my hair will turn purple. You never know. Which I don't mind if my hair co turns colors, you know. I'm not here to be perfect colorist. I mean, I just like doing what I do. So I'm going to color my hair, and I'll be right back. I have all the color in my hair, and it's saturated. There's not a lot of mess with this product, which is good. There's no um, weird you know, clumpiness everywhere, no splatter. I will see you guys back in over here in an hour. So this is the final result of the color. It's a bluish greenish tone depending on the lighting. And some parts didn't get um, colored as well as others, but it's like, it's not perfect, but I like it. So. I'm going to try to spray my hair like this. I think I should keep it like this. It's still a little damp, but it feels full and nice. Like, the color made it feel really good. I like it a lot. So, this is the final product. And I know it's not perfect, but, like, I don't really care. <laughs> I just wanted to color my hair again. So, if you like this video, please give it a like share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, everyone. <laughs>